Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic and welcome to this art lesson episode and I'm so excited because my favorite time of year is Halloween. I absolutely love Halloween. It makes me so happy. It's like my Christmas and you might feel the same way or you just might love Christmas more. Either way, we're going to be making some Halloween art with this jack-o'-lantern and we're going to be exploring a monochromatic color scheme which means that we're going to be using just one color and we're going to explore use creating shades and highlights to create this lovely artwork that explores using both oil pastels and watercolor paints. Now if you don't have any watercolor paints, no worries. You can just use your uh, temper paint cakes or if you have liquid tempera paint, black liquid tempera paint, water it down, mix it nicely until it's very watery and you can use that. Um, and you're also going to need some orange paper. This is just some orange cover stock or card stock paper. If you have orange uh, construction paper, you can use that too. And my friend, grab your art making mediums and join me. Let's create some monochromatic jack-o'-lantern art. Let's make some art. So we're going to make a spooky jack-o'-lantern with some orange paper, so either construction paper or cardstock. And we're going to grab a black oil pastel to begin with. So we're going to have our pumpkin or our paper and in a portrait style. So we don't want it to be landscape, right? So this is landscape, which is when we turn it to its side. But we're going to be working in portrait orientation for this. So we're going to hold our paper with one hand and hold our black oil pastel with your drawing hand. And we're going to draw a nice spooky pumpkin. So we're going to begin by drawing very lightly an oval first in the center of your paper. And when you're happy with that oval, you can take your pastel and go over that line a second time. Okay, next we're gonna draw a letter C on each shape or a curving line on each side. They don't have to be absolutely perfect because pumpkins don't grow absolutely perfect. So we can just take our pastel, go up, around and down on both sides. And we're going to smooth these lines out after with our fingers. So don't worry about it being perfect. Okay, and we're gonna do one more and it's gonna be slightly smaller this time. A little bit bigger than that. Okay, a nice lovely curve on either side. So we're gonna go up, around and in, up, down, around and in. That will give us a nice pumpkin shape. All right. Give your pumpkin a spooky stem. So we're gonna draw a nice oval somewhere above our pumpkin. Yes, there's lots of space down here. And that's just gonna be for the grass and our blackness a little bit later. Okay, and then we're gonna draw a nice crooked, spooky looking stem like that. Oh yeah, make yours super weird. Give it some artist flavor. This little spiral there, oh yeah. Okay, and then we can make a jack lantern face. So I'm gonna draw triangle eyes, one on each side for my pumpkin. I'm gonna shade in one side of my eyes so that way it looks like it has a nice depth or an edge to it because of where it's been carved. And then I'm gonna give my pumpkin a nice creepy mouth. So I'm going to do a smiley and you can give your pumpkin whatever style mouth you want. And then I'll add some lines across it so it looks like it has stitches. And finally I'm going to add a nice smaller triangle in the center there for a nose. And shade it. Like that. Okay. Take your pastel and hold it on its side and we're going to add a nice shadow just below, so our pumpkin looks like it's sitting on the ground. And then we're gonna take it, and we're just gonna 
lightly, lightly color back and forth around the edge, around our pumpkin. We're just working with one color that we're adding to a colored piece of paper. So we're just adding using black for everything. And we're gonna add both black oil pastel and black paint to colored paper to make it a nice spooky drawing. Okay, take your thumb. First, we're gonna pull it up the stem to shade it in. And then we're gonna go down those lines around our pumpkin. Now our pumpkin's gonna stay orange, so we don't wanna fill it in, but just by pulling it down, it's adding a lighter value of black, so it looks like a nice shadow on our pumpkin. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back and forth across the bottom, I'm following the horizon line. If there were to be one that we could see. We're gonna go with the shape of the earth here, and go back and forth until we get a nice smudgy glow, like that. Okay, next we're going to add a little bit of greenery. So we're gonna, oh no we're not. We're gonna add black greenery texture. And we're just gonna add some grass texture with some lines. So we're just gonna add some diagonal lines going both ways to make some texture for grass. Very nice monochromatic artwork. So monochromatic means that it's just one color. So mono, so one color, chromatic. Monochromatic is one color. And this is a orange monochromatic artwork. An orange monochromatic artwork. Okay, smudge those eyes just a little, and that nose, mouth. And we're gonna shade up the sides of the stem here. So I'm just gonna add thicker line on either side and then just smudge it so it's not so sterile like that. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna switch and we're gonna grab black paint. So I'm gonna dip my brush in some water. I'm gonna find my black and we're gonna first paint in the remaining areas of our eyes and nose. And if you have space on your mouth to paint in, you can paint that. And then I'm going to paint a black glow around my pumpkin. Now it's not turning the paper black. What's actually happening is the paper's turning more of a orange shade. So a shade is a color plus, a color plus black. So it kind of looks like a dark orange instead of looking like black. And that makes it very spooky, doesn't it, in this monochromatic artwork. Very spooky. Okay, and just to finish it off, I'm gonna get a little bit of white. And I'm just gonna add a bit of white in the eyes here. Mix it with the black, same with my nose. And it's staying with the monochromatic theme here. Add a little bit of a highlight to my stem. And a bit of white, ever so gently along the top. And if you want to make it a spooky night, you can take that way and you can just add some drops around your sky. If it goes on your pumpkin, that's okay. And that is gonna add nice little stars to your sky. And just like that, your lovely pumpkin is done. 
excited. Thank you so much for watching the art lesson. Now let's dive into some more ways that you can explore Ms. Artastic art lessons. First place to start is the Ms. Artastic blog. Here it's kind of like a hub for all things Ms. Artastic. You're going to find links to the podcast where you can find my show notes and listen. Um, or you can find the podcast on your favorite podcast player. Just search Ms. Artastic. You're going to find teaching strategies and resources, free printables, art lessons for kids from the elements of art, principle, principles of design, seasonal art lesson ideas, and holiday art lesson ideas. Some of the more popular holidays. But you can find so much more. So it gives you a great place to start. You can find some free lessons by clicking the number one button. And then you can learn a bit about me and find all my blog posts that cover things from back to school, advice for new art teachers, um, talking about the principles of design and how to teach them, tips for teaching visual art to kids, and so much more. Lots of freebies to discover, and this is the Ms. Artastic blog, so make sure you go to MsArtastic.com as this is your first place to start on your Ms. Artastic journey. The next place to go to is the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers Store. You can search Ms. Artastic in the search bar up at the top, and then you can find my store and my lovely gold cat logo here. And this is a great place to start to find amazing art resources. As you can see, there is over 800 different resources to discover. Um, and over here, we have our custom categories. So if you don't want to use the search bar, which you could totally search my store over here. But if you don't want to, or if it's a little bit too complicated, you can always find different custom categories to get some inspiration for things you might want to find, like art sub resources, my artivity books that I've created, artists and art history, back to school, elements of art, directed drawing, principles of design, our world, primary art lessons, my roll and draw series, oh yeah, social emotional learning, and of course all of the holidays are in here from Halloween to Earth Day, end of year Easter, St. Patrick's Day spring, and so much more. Um, some of the cool things you might find are elements of art workbooks, I got principles of design workbooks, and so much art history guys. I have gone to town this year and created a lot of art history so you'll find art history workbooks. Um, there's a couple, there's a few different ones. This one is um, modern art history. You'll find Gustav Klimt, um, Georges Seurat, we'll have Alma Woodsy Thomas, Emily Carr, and so much more. In the first one there is artists such as Frida Kahlo, Georgia O'Keeffe, Jean-Michel Basquiat, Salvador Dali, um, and then I also have Western art history from 1900s to 1990s. So this is a modern art history workbook that goes through all the different modern art history movements from data to surrealism to abstract expressionism to early 20th century art. And I also have a art history, history of Western art, um, prehistoric to 1990s. So from ancient Greece to... Um, to Egyptian art, uh, romanticism, all of that you will find in prehistoric to 1990s, um, but all designed for kids. So you can check it out. I have different levels, primary um, levels, through to middle school of all my different resources. You'll find them at the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers Store. Again, go to Ms. Artastic on TPT. And finally, if you are somebody who wants to dive deep into art and you need a bigger solution. So maybe not just a single solution where you have just a couple of resources, but maybe you need something bigger, a full program that's going to guide you through planning an entire year, provide all the resources for doing that, all the year long plans, all the lesson plan templates, but then also teach you how to plan the year from your back to school to your first week, um, through classroom management and assessment, um, all the way through planning your entire year till the end of the year, setting yourself up with a year A and a year B so you have a rotating curriculum, so you're planning, you're spending less time planning and more time on things you love, like your passions, your family, your fur babies, whatever it might be, um, then you need to check out the Artastic Collective art curriculum. It is my art curriculum designed for art educators. So not only am I going to give you my three-phase proven process 
for planning an entire year in my art teacher growth course. I'm also going to give you all the resources for the planning part, but also all the lessons as well, whether it's community builders, first week activities, when you're done, um, everything will be included. And as bonuses, you're going to get monthly art teacher challenges and you're going to get a community form that's for all the members of the Artastic Collective to talk on and collaborate together with. And then also I'll be there and you'll get a direct line to me. I will help you anytime you need my support. So this is artasticcollective.com and here you're going to find again my art curriculum and other programs for our educators. You can learn about me here. But my friend, this is where you're going to transform. And you can learn more by going to uh, the art curriculum area and there I will walk you through. Enrollment opens every August and January of every year. It is the ultimate art curriculum for our educators. And I want to help you through that process of planning. I'm going to make sure that I provide you with all the resources that you need to become the best educator that you can be. And if it's not August or January, then unfortunately you can't join, but you can always get on the wait list and that way you can get the art curriculum that you need to be confident and fully planned without the stress. It is designed for educators and it's going to again help you go from stressed and overwhelmed to calm, happy, and fully planned. So make sure you go to artasticcollective.com right now. Get on the wait list if you are needing a full art curriculum to solve your planning needs. And I will see you next time.